Why, hello there. Welcome to O'Fallon, Missouri. Today we're at this abandoned Bank of America. This is just the dark and mysterious alley that's next to the Bank of America. Alrighty, here it is, the Bank of America. Now, this one is very fascinating because it wasn't just a Bank of America. If you go back, you'll be able to see that there were two signs up on there. One was Bank of America and the other was St. Louis Counseling. They shared this building and St. Louis Counseling had just recently closed and Bank of America has been closed for Probably about five years now, actually. Trying to reduce the glare there so you can see. There we go. Permanently closing March 29th, and I believe that was 2018. It's been a while. But what's funny is some of those are not even in existence anymore. Like I think the that other O'Fallon one that's there, I don't even think that's open anymore. A good chunk of them shut down around here. Now, see, that, that was the thing. You'd walk in here, and if you wanted the Bank of America, you'd go in there. If you wanted to get counseling, you'd go in there. That's a little chandelier. <laughs> but uh, I kind of anticipated that you wouldn't be able to see anything in the Bank of America. And as such, I came over here the other day when it was nighttime and got through the windows because all the lights were still on. But, yeah, because you can't see anything through there but the safe's there but we'll cut to that nighttime footage right quick i just know if i came back during the day it wasn't going to be the same you can see the big old safe is wide open interesting almost makes me hope spirit halloween takes that space might be their only hope when we come over here this is what I presume would be like a 24 seven ATM or uh, you know, the check drop off kind of thing. Uh, there's a light above there still on, even though it's uh, 10 in the morning, but I presume that's what those were. But when we come around here, there's the parking lot, a little bit worse for wear, but the counseling place had another entrance back here. And I, I think the, the entrance up front that we just saw i believe that was just an employee entrance i think the actual like entrance for us patrons would be back here and this is it yeah here it is go down here i don't know if you actually be able to see the bank through here because i know it did have another entrance yeah, a little bit. I do have, once again, I have a photo from night showing the bank, so I'll cut to that. See now, these and around were just offices for the counseling place, and the drive-through for the bank was actually over there. But we're gonna take a look through some of these first. I'm curious. Just, just an office. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. Plus, there's still some windows up front that I haven't even looked up yet. Well, here's one that's wide open. Yeah, just another office, presumably. Very exciting, I know. Gripping content. But you never know. There could be some hidden gems in here. Just another office. <laughs> I'm sensing a pattern here. Not like I didn't just warn everybody that that was indeed the case. 
Just another office. <laughs> Let's take a look at the ones up front right quick. There's the road sign. When we come up here, we do indeed have this window that is open. And it's, you guessed it, another office. What did you expect? And now, for the final look into what is presumably an office is right here. Except there's, mm. looks like a control board. How exciting. Despite the bank being all the way over there, the drive-through is all the way over here. Presumably because it was, you know, it's an older building, I presume, because usually every other bank I've ever seen has these connected in some way. But, I mean, you'd be hard pressed to miss this I mean, you could very easily drive past like oh they don't have a drive through move on but looks like they did my goodness this area could use some work especially this mirror i can't even see how ugly i am it looks like they do have the windows covered with some interesting vinyl very fascinating choice for sure and i don't see really much of a crack or anything that I could use to peek on through besides maybe the very, very edge. Yeah, even then it's like literally nothing. But I mean, there is this, but it's, yeah, of course, not even open. Not like I expected it to be. But I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a cool little addition, I suppose, but not really much to see on that end. 